This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show tonight. Talking makeup on the Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars Family Edition Red Carpet with singer, songwriter, and reality television personality Danity Kane's Aubrey O'Day. Aubrey O'Day, how you doing tonight? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How did Marriage Boot Camp change your life? Oh God, I mean it was probably like the two most miserable times I've ever had in life when it aired, so that was really fun. Um, the show is tough. It has no boundaries. It pushes you far beyond your comfort zone. And even when it's wrong, which I get very defensive when people perceive you in a way that you're not, but you're not getting through to them. It really did teach me that no matter who challenges your character, you have to be good inside. You have to just know who you are, know what you want, and be your own happiness and allow anyone else that comes into your life to be an addition to that. Where do you find the discipline? Discipline? Oh to man, be I- To that sweetheart, to even though you're angry at somebody, where do you find that discipline to not be that person? Oh baby, do you know me? I'm a bitch. <laughs> I don't think anyone would describe me as a sweetheart. <laughs> um, no, listen, I'm honest. And I think honesty is important sometimes, not all the time. And that's what I've learned the most about my times. I've been the only celebrity that's been on this show twice. Um, and I just, your honesty is yours and it's not necessarily everyone else's. And the most intuitive and at peace you can be is when you're just still and calm and accept someone else's truth for what it is and learn how to speak to them in the way that they understand life. What did you learn from working with Puff Diddy Combs? <laughs> um, man, I learned how to be completely self-sufficient. I don't need anyone for anything. I can make my own videos, I can write my own songs, I can produce my own melodies, I engineer my tracks, I shoot my music videos, I edit them, I know how to use After Effects and every other program, I mean, I'm just like completely self-sufficient. I don't need anyone for anything. And had I not had a, such a dynamic, um, aggressive soul teaching me early on, I probably wouldn't have believed that I could do anything on my own, truly. People say that, but if you ask them to really fucking do a, a project from A to Z, they can't really do it. I can really do it. No, I believe you. <laughs> no, the thing is, is and not just music. I mean, I can do anything. In this in this industry, you have to be self-sufficient because do. you know what? If when you have other people involved, they can be envious of you. They can try oh, yeah. to sabotage you. Oh yeah, I literally have, like try to make friends on my way, and I'm always like. Recently, I had a new friend um, that like robbed a bunch of photos of me on a computer and is like trying to leak them to the press. It's like. Totally outrageous and silly how like people create these different like levels of understanding celebrities. Every we're all just people. We're all literally just people trying to connect with another person. And you connected with a lot of people. You had with Danity Kane, you had two number one albums. How did that change you mentally and emotionally? Oh God, when you work for Diddy, you never feel like you're good enough. And his like famous motto that he taught us was, you're only as good as what you did today. And I'd like wake up like, man, we went double platinum yesterday. And he'd be like, so what did you do today? So it sounds, it sounds negative at first, but truly like you can't live on the one time you did something great in your life. You have to continue to aspire to, to be great every day. What do you remember about the Christina Aguilera Back to Basics tour. Okay, so I was completely obsessed with Christina since I was a child, um, and I'm very good friends with her choreographer, Jerry, and he ended up sneaking me into her dressing room before one of the shows, and she was watching us on a huge flat screen in her dressing room, and I was like, oh man, all the notes that I don't hit, she's observing, I'm gonna kill myself. But um, she was so little. She was literally like to hear on me. She had all these huge dogs everywhere and she was just so sweet and such a like strong but like sensitive woman and I just like loved her. I may have triple kissed her that night with Jerry as well. We're gonna do makeup must-haves, okay. okay? I'm gonna run them down, you're gonna tell me the brand, okay? 
Oh, so, shit, okay. Okay, let's try this. All right. All right, foundation. Uh, woo, uh, Armani. It's the best. the best. Full, medium, or light coverage? Oh, honey, I have a full beat for the grocery store. And then, oh, sorry, powder. It's okay, you can touch my boob. Um, powder, Laura Mercier. Okay. Translucent powder. Uh, lipstick. Oh, God, I use uh, Fenty. Okay. Rihanna's got amazing glosses right now. I'm hearing a lot of talk about her, her makeup her, line. Her line on is incredible. I love her line. And then yeah. lip liner. Um, I you I like so old school. I still use Mac. <laughs> Concealer. Uh, ooh. I would say Kevin Aquan. Blush. I don't really wear blush. Bronzer. Oh man, I'm like super straight with a good Sally Hansen body spray. On the face, like Cover FX or Bobby Brown. Did you do your eyes tonight? No. Okay, because they are off the chain. Ooh, thank you. What do you use if 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 Aubrey O'Day is doing her makeup? Yeah. What are her eyeshadow makeup must have? Right now, I'm super inspired by Euphoria. So all I do, and when I shoot for my Instagram brand posts, I just love glitter. I love jewels, and I love playing with creative ways to place them on your face. I'm such a glam girl. I've literally had a full beat since I was 17, so that gets boring for me. I usually try not to wear eyelashes anymore when I'm shooting. I love like a, a natural eye, and a lot of times lashes can like yank your eyes, like make them wonky. And I love just like the raw, like, I without lashes. What are what lashes are you wearing tonight though? Were those done by the makeup artist? The only lashes I wear is Ardell. And you know, Ardell make great lashes. Yes, 100 percent The wispies, double wispies, it's all you need. Decollete makeup tonight? Just a spray tan. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then moisturizer. Yes. Oh moisturizer? Uh God, I don't even know. Uh, oh, I love um, La Mer. La Mer, the best. Yeah. You're using all the best stuff. I know. What's going on with your music career? Uh, Danity Kane has been in the studio, and we're about to start releasing tracks. Wow. Is it all the original members? Three of us so far, but I won't stop till I get everyone. And do you have a label backing you? Never. Labels are the death of music. So have you guys banded together to do it independently? Yes. How Sorry. is that going to work? I'm sweating right now. Okay. My waist cincher is so tight I can barely breathe. How is that working out? It's working out great. We're sisters. We've literally gone through an entire lifetime together. I've been with them longer than I've been with any man in my life. So. Are you writing the lyrics? We always do, yeah. I don't believe you're a real artist until you write your own lyrics. And, you're, and you guys are producing it yourself. Yes. We actually have a song out called Neon Lights right now. Um, our next song is called New Kings. Um, and you can get it on iTunes. Why should people watch Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars Family Edition? Oh, because it's the toughest TV show on right now. And everybody should come get a dose of watching celebrities shaking their boots. The Blaring Out Show.